We're trying, we spend our lives trying to avoid the unpleasant feelings and to get the pleasant feelings. And, and the job, the one part of our mind that does that job is, the, is called attachment. It's this vampire in us that's super focused, unceasing, every second, helped by attention, intention, concentration. All those parts of our mind are supporting attachment and we locate the object that we've got a habit to be, from, you know, the, the object that we're convinced is the one that sucks it. When I get that object, it will trigger pleasant feelings. That's how we spend our lives. So the really heavy duty, unhappy people are the ones who, you know, jump on little girls and murder and rape and torture because that, that's their habit. And that's how they get their pleasant feelings. Well, we might just have to go and watch videos or watch some porn or eat a cake, you know, or do whatever we do or knit or t play tennis. Some of them we can see are fairly mild, but they don't harm others. At least stop doing the harming others ones. That's a good, you know, starting point. But the junkie in us is attachment and it's craving. It's a, it's a craving in its nature. It's desperate and hungry and craving and frantic. And it's desperate to find one of those objects that we're familiar with based on our karma, such that when we have contact with it, a pleasant feeling is triggered. So listen to this, that's the only way we know how to get a pleasant feeling. Think of just sitting in your chair now, you know? You'll get a pleasing, you know, if you, you know, you'll get a pleasant feeling for five, 10 minutes maybe. And then, you, then your leg will hurt, so you have to move your leg. And then you want to get up and get some lunch. And you sit down and you do something else. Every five minutes, we're constantly changing whatever it is that gives a, trigger, a pleasant feeling. But because it turns into an unpleasant feeling, we have to do something else. That's how we spend our lives. That's how we spend our lives. Because we have no way of understanding how to trigger pleasant feelings. Now, Buddha's saying, listen, people, I've found a method to get such pleasant feelings. You won't believe it. And I'm being quite literal here. Buddha's saying the end result is such pleasant feelings, it's the nature of your mind. This is what I'm trying to get to. When we can begin to read the literature about the nature of our mind, when it's to the degree that it's unencumbered by delusions, is the degree that it is blissful. And that's a real word. Our mind in its nature, our mind in its nature, when it's unencumbered by the junk, unencumbered by the gross conceptuality, unencumbered by the sensory consciousness, unencumbered by the delusions. It is just naturally radiant, naturally joyful, naturally clear. Please hear these words. This is scientific language, not religious. It's not a belief. It's the way our mind is.